Hello everyone, I'm Leonora, I'm the Media and External Affairs Manager at Nuffield Trust and one third of the WontCom's uh, originals, but as Nick said, it is kind of all of our um, network and community, so it's great to see you all here today. Um, when I, one year ago, I sat in this chair in this room and I felt extremely nervous talking to my um, fellow think tank communicators about our jobs and we discussed how the digital revolution has cracked open think tank communications and allowed us to see what each other was doing, admire or seethe with jealousy at each other's work and also crucially get inspired um, about what kind of innovations we can do and how we can communicate our work to our audiences. That's the essence of WontComs. And over the past year, there's been what feels like an explosion of creativity in think tank comms, from BuzzFeed to Vine, animations, infographics, lots more in between. I think it's, there's something quite appropriate about us sitting here today as the think tank world is getting extremely uh, overexcited about a 700-page book. Um, it feels even more appropriate than ever to be here to be talking about how we can communicate our organisation's wonkish, nerdish insights to to time stretch people in an era of information overload. So our first panel is about looking back on the year in WontComs. Um, these, the panelists here today have all been involved in WontComs from its early days, and they're going to talk to you about what they've been doing over this past year and the, some of the ideas that they've picked up. They'll talk to you each for about five-ish minutes, um, and then we'll have a bit of time for question and answers before I'll hand over to Richard, who's chairing the second panel, which is about challenges to think tank communications, because we don't rest on our laurels and we want to know what the challenges are in the future. Um, so I'm, I'll introduce our panel. So on, on, at the far end, we've got Sophie Jenkinson, who's now a media and digital guru at IPPR. Um, she spontaneously immortalised WontComs last year by uh, putting together a Storify. Um, since then, went that she, then she was at the Fabian, she's been at the Centre for Mental Health and is now at IPPR. Um, next to her is Natalie, a com comms officer, Natalie Cox, comms officer at Resolution Foundation and an, an alumni of the Richard Darlington School of Communications, <laughs> IPPR. Um, Matt Smith on my left is digital comms officer at Policy Exchange, putting the info into infographic. Also was here in the first um, WontComs event and in fact spots himself regularly on the Twitter profile of WontComs where there's a little photo of this event in this room. And then last but not least, um, all the way from New York via live stream is Joe Miller, who's Vice President <coughs> of Communications at the Century Foundation. Joe wrote one of our first blogs on WontComs. He's spoken at another event and he's been a driving force in promoting WontComs stateside. So um, Natalie, it's, you're up first. The year, sorry, Sophie. <laughs> the year in the think tank communications. 